Joe Moody's chances of being fit for the Super Rugby playoffs may be in serious jeopardy. Loose head prop Moody hurt his left knee and ankle in the opening minutes of the Crusaders' 45-22 win over the Highlanders in Christchurch last Friday night, and appears no chance of playing the final round robin game against the Blues next Saturday. If that gloomy prediction proves correct it will add another chapter to what is proving to be a frustrating season for the All Black. Given the Crusaders have already secured top spot on the competition log, and are guaranteed to remain at Amy Stadium for as long as they survive in the playoffs, the omission of Moody from the Blues game is unlikely to be considered a major drama by coach Scott Robertson. But the spectre of not having the 34-test prop for the quarterfinal on July 21, probably against the Rebels or the Sharks, could create more anxiety. Although Wyatt Crockett, Tim Perry and Chris King are also extremely capable, Moody is one of the world's best loose heads and Robertson will want a full arsenal to select from as the Crusaders attempt to retain the Super Rugby crown. E. Moody will continue to be reviewed by the Crusaders medical team early next week to determine the exact nature of the knee injury and the expected return to play timeframes, the Crusaders said in a statement. Moody, who has made just three appearances for the Crusaders this year, tried to keep playing after falling awkwardly in the opening minutes against the Highlanders, but had to surrender his job to Crockett who made his 200th Super Rugby appearance. The 29-year-old Moody has already suffered a catalogue of misfortunes this year, one of them self-inflicted. His comeback from a serious shoulder operation only lasted a few minutes when he fractured a finger for his club in early April. The disjointed routine was to continue. In his return to Super Rugby, against the Waratahs in Christchurch, he received a two-week suspension for striking Kurtley Beal on May 12. The diagnosis of midfielder Ryan Crotty, who left the field in the second half against the Highlanders, was more positive. The Crusaders said he, he had minor calf tightness and left the park as a precaution. If Robertson is loath to risk Crotty, he can start Bateman at number 12. Other changes are expected against the Blues. Hooker Cody Taylor and Locke Scott Barrett are yet to have their final All Blacks rest week, meaning they should be given a chance to refresh. Andrew Macalio is expected to retain the number two jersey he wore against the Highlanders and Quinton Strange, preferred ahead of Luke Romano on the bench for that game, may be promoted to start. First 5'8", Richie Munger, who scored 25 points against the Highlanders, said he was desperate to start again and Robertson isn't expected to plonk him in cotton wool. Moonga scored a try and kicked four conversions in four penalties. Moonga was critical of his kick that missed touch and led to a Highlanders try but his running game was impressive. He made a game-high 15 runs, recording 60 metres. Gone are the days when I try to run everything. But there were a few opportunities, I was able to look up and see a few gaps and have a wee dig and a wee play around, stuff promoted stories recommended by